Now this one looks very intimidating. If you see this towards the end of module two, my recommendation is to skip it and save it for last. And that's really my recommendation for all of these tricky geometry problems, they take the longest. But what you should notice when you look at this picture is that we have a big right triangle and then we have two smaller right triangles inside of the big right triangle. This is testing you on similar triangles. So is it really a circle problem? No. If it's a similar triangles problem, anticipate setting up a proportion. That's probably what you're gonna have to do. So they said, segment XZ is the diameter of a circle and has a length of 150. Okay, and so I guess right now, if this was the first time I did it, I might go like this and label the whole thing 150. And I'm thinking, okay, if we're gonna use the big right triangle, that might be valuable to me, but let's see. Here's the key. They said VY equals the square root of 296. Okay, 296 is this side right there. That is the only side length that they gave us on this problem. And you have to think to yourself, what two triangles share that side? It's the medium triangle and the small triangle. So using the big triangle isn't gonna help you because we don't have enough to go off of with the big triangle. But we do have a side that's shared between the medium and the small. So what I'm gonna do with that 150 side is I'm gonna break it up into medium and small segments instead of one large segment. I wanna call this smaller piece X and I'm gonna call this bigger piece 150 minus X. And now I can go ahead and set up my proportion. I have four sides. I need four sides, two for each, to set up a proportion for similar triangles. So we're gonna basically be taking the, the small triangle over the big triangle. And what I'm gonna start with is the small triangle's long leg is 296. So we're gonna put the long leg first. The big triangle's long leg is 150 minus X. Then we're gonna do the small leg. So the small triangle's small leg, which is right here, is X. And the big triangle's small leg is actually square root of 296. Anticipate getting the square roots diagonal from each other because when you cross multiply, you should get a whole number. Really, this is a quadratics problem in disguise. So let's go ahead and cross multiply. We end up with 296 equals um, 150X minus X squared. And then what I'm gonna do is basically pop that into Desmos, move everything to the other side so it's all on one side. Otherwise, Desmos gets weird with quadratics and they end up giving you lines straight up and down. So I'm gonna move all these terms. So I have a positive X squared minus 150 X plus 296. And that's what I'm gonna put in Desmos to see the solutions. Because right now we're solving for X. We don't know what those lengths are. And that's honestly what the question is asking for. They wanna know what X, Y is, and they wanna know what Y, Z is. So we don't know that yet until we can you know, solve this in Desmos. So X squared minus 150 X plus 296. All right, let's zoom out. So we have one solution at two and another one at 148 which makes perfect sense because that means that X, Y needs to be the two and then 150 minus two so that YZ is 148. So when we set X, Y, which is two over YZ 148, we get K. You can simplify that down to one over 74 or you can put it in decimal form if you want.